like we have and the, obviously the military was was in power when all of this happened yeah. so they knew like he was their friend they shared the money together <laughs> so they knew that you are a crook right we are also crooks but in addition to being crooks we are also pretending to be statesmen there's nothing statesman like about you you're just a crook hello guys good morning good afternoon good evening well, welcome to this facebook page and youtube channel Guys, don't come back in. I tell you, I say things they go out of the play for Nigeria. I did to bring a woman at doorstep, baby, and I say the things they unfold. Without wasting much of your time, guys, don't be smart, you know. David Udei, our investigative journalist, don't come outside to expose MKO Abiola and Bola Ahmed if Chinibu. David Udei, the letters they know say MKO Abiola even worse past Bola Ahmed if Chinibu. That man stole a lot. Guys, take your time. Watch this video. You see, you see, eh? even. Past leaders, the kind of things where they do, eh? Now I make them ball and make if Chinibu now, cause they do the same thing. See, those people, they destroy Nigeria. Now they first start to they destroy Nigeria. Before they ball and make if Chinibu, all of them come into office. He don't say where Nigeria, although they loot from Nigeria. In the time of Abacha, those people, they loot billions of dollars. Guys, take your time watch this video. Yeah, everything with David Udeni. When I know say Bola Ahmed, if you see they find this man to arrest. If they find out to arrest, just because this man. Now this man ain't boss everything about Bola Ahmed, if you all the fake credentials, everything. This man brought everything out online for us to know that Bola Ahmed, if you never attend school in Chicago, but he came to Nigeria to portray to Nigeria because he knows he not done the full Nigeria. He came to portray to us, oh, he attended school in Chicago, blah, 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 blah. These are my credentials. Before we later find out that this man never, in short, eh, he never smelled the gates. Now, somebody went and attended the school. Bola Ahmed Tiftinibu was impersonating that woman. Guys, watch this video. Please, I will beg you, eh? Any video you see here, share it. I beg you. Share it so that the world needs to know what is going on in Nigeria. Bola Ahmed Tiftinibu can never be Nigeria president. Tinubu, there was another, there was the original Tinubu who went by the name MK Abiola. If you yeah, know of you. course, yeah, yes. And des June, June Swartz, yes, despite just, all yeah. of his wealth and all of his money, his money was made under very similar circumstances, by the way, because MK was also a criminal. Let's be clear about that. There's no type of illegal activity that man was not involved in. Gun running, co cool financing, smuggling of every kind of illegal or, Ill or illegal commodity, his hand was inside, right? And he made a fantastic fortune. And despite all of his money, that presidency that he wanted, they just made sure they did not. Yeah, but that was different era and different era. IBB Abasha, right? That was a different era. Abasha wanted to be president. Abasha was the man. Abasha and IBB and so you know, IBB said so himself. What you are telling me? Abasha. So what exactly? What you yeah. told me now yeah. is that the men then had ambition, but there are no men with ambitions now. No, they are, no, 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 no. That's what my my point is that the Nigerian system, the way the Nigerian system has been set up. It doesn't work for the Nigerian common man. People like you and I and millions of now, it doesn't work for us. The elite has their own way of thinking. Yeah, but and they no also what, and that's the same in every society, Betty. But the thing is, the, the elites, the elites used to at least have a little understanding of like optics. But in Nigeria it's, not, it's never been they used. Will you have will you have a man like a bunch of loot three billion dollars so or more? Again, part of the story it's billion. Part of the story that you know, has been forgotten. Is that yes, I will be looted a shit ton of money. Yeah. So did Abacha. But very crucially, it wasn't in the open. It wasn't like um it wasn't like you had to be in the know to know. Yeah, 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 I, no. I kind of yeah, I agree. Yes. yes. On the surface, they were actually pretending to govern. Right? And then people like MQ, characters like MQ, the establishment did not like them. Yeah, Abacha was like, you're coming to mess up things for... The establishment is not like yeah, that. Yeah. And it wasn't necessarily because of any, like, personality clash or something. MK and IBB were friends. MK financed IBB school, by the way. Wow. They were very good friends, right? MK was friends with most of these military officers, including Abacha. But the thing is, they understood, or they, they thought that this... Thing that you want you've you've made you like nigeria has given you everything or you've made everything from nigeria you did the itt scam you made billions from that there is no there's nothing illegal that happened in nigeria between 1978 and 1992 that mk abiola's hand was not inside that man made billions from everything that was wrong 
basically the reason why we didn't have telephones like we didn't really have telephone in nigeria till 2001 was nk Abiola, the itt thing that was him he basically got a huge contract to provide the backbone for telephony in nigeria and it turned out to be a contract scam he just pocketed the money and he didn't fucking do the work wow that's where a large part of his fortune came from wow you know so in their mind they were like we have and the, obviously the military was was in power when all of this happened yeah. so they knew like he was their friend they shared the money together <laughs> so they knew that you are a crook right we are also crooks but in addition to being crooks we are also pretending to be statesmen there's nothing statesman like about you you're just a crook that's that's all you are you are literally just a criminal there's nothing else to be said about you we don't want you here and that's not necessarily because oh they love nigeria they respected nigeria but it's just that that sense of pride that this one we won't give you so i genuinely thought that there was still that institutional memory within nigerian security architecture that they would look at someone like somebody they'll be like this one eh? everything else you can you've 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 eaten lagos you put it inside your mouth like the largest sub-national economy in in nigeria you put it in your mouth everything there you take a cut everything that happens in lagos you take a cut out of it every legal or illegal i do it it gets a cut out of everything and we've let you have it but see this asso rock this one this prize jewel we are not going to let you have it i genuinely thought they had that conscious and i just realized at the end of the day it's either of two things either the people who are who had that consciousness have all retired and the people who are in in charge now who are in power now are a bunch of kids i think i, I think it's a letter or yeah. or this man just is able to wield so much money and so much international support and influence mm. specifically from the u.s government the state department i'm gonna to come to that now. that basically it doesn't even matter what people want or don't want within which for me is a much worse possibility because that would mean essentially that the drive is being ruled by an external power you heard show na here now <laughs> oh god god will bless this guy dave Udenye. because i remember i did a video you see 1940 1940 nigeria borrowed how many billions of dollars from china 1940 can't reach now nigeria keep borrowing you see eh, when i told you guys that all these leaders that are ruling us they know what they are they are they are just in that office to steal for themselves to you know enrich themselves okay look at the same mko abiola just look how this man fraud nigeria according to david Day, we were supposed to have phone we are supposed to have phone but this man fraud the country. He fraud the country. You see, our military, they are part of the fraud that is going on in the country. Okay, now, let's leave Abiola outside now because let's say that has passed. Let's talk about this present tense now. Bola Ahmed Tiftinibu. Look at what is going on. If really our military, they are working, these guys really want the country to be great. With what is going on now in Nigeria, Bola Ahmed Tiftinibu, they will pull this man in a hot seat. Let him know, bro. You just came into office, just one year in office. You've you you've borrowed trillions of dollars. You know why these guys they are not doing it? Because all of them, the military, they are all criminals. Look at in the time of Muhammad Buhari, this same military refused to do the right thing instead they were supporting Buhari to be looting from the country it's not recently the military came out to say Buhari government scammed nigeria and at the same time sold the military helicopter it is recently the military came out to discuss about it. So you see the military and the politicians, they all do things together. They just came to office to steal. They don't care about the masses. They don't care about the poor citizens. 
They are there for their self, for their family. Now look at what Bola Ahmed Tifkinibu is doing to the country. If really they want Nigeria to be great and better, they will fix all these things. The military will be the first people to come outside to put an end to this condition that this country is facing now. But you know what? They decide to keep moots. Why? Because Bola Ahmed Tifkinibu has bought them. He gave them huge billions of dollars to shut their mouth, not to do anything. But they will pretend it as if they are working. Mm? At the end, they will pretend it. Oh, we are. But indoors, bro, those guys are not doing shit. They are not doing anything. Our military, they are part of the problem we are facing in this country, Nigeria. Yes. Because our military is supposed to dance with the politicians. Because the politicians, these people, they are killing Nigeria. They are bringing that country down. So, the reason of we having military in the country, it is when things is not going fine, that you see the military, they will step in. But our military, these guys, they are not doing anything. They fold their hand and watch things get spoiled in the country. They watch things get spoiled in the country. I love our David Udeyi keep exposing these people. Just look at the past governments, the past leaders. Since the country, Nigeria, became political, the leaders that came into office, into power, the leaders that started ruling the country, they came there for their own selfish interest. They never came to rule or to feast things in the country. They came to steal. And they say stealing is still going on till this minute. The same stealing is still going on in this minute as we speak. Bola Ahmed Tifkinibu, his own is worst. That man, his own is worst. Every month, that man keep borrowing money. And when he borrowed the money, you will not see this man work with those money. He will just borrow the money and put the money in his bank account. Now, if you tell me, where is this man taking this money to? Bro, I don't know. I don't know. I have a video of this man, CJN, Ariwola. When Ariwola was praising Jojo, George was praising Wike. If a judge, a high ranking judge, Ariwola, CJN, was praising Wike, they tell me, why won't Wike be misbehaving? He will be misbehaving. I have that video. I'll bring that video for you guys. But I just want to let you guys know that Nigeria, the youths are the only people who can make things work in that country. I'm telling you guys the plain truth. The youths are the only people who can make things work in that country. Because you guys need to tell to these people, enough is enough. We've had enough from you guys. Please. This time, we cannot take it anymore. We need to cut it. That's the only way things will work in Nigeria. Say you guys don't leave these people alone and you start dancing your sh shaku shaku on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, bro. These people will keep looting and you guys will not know about it. They've monetized you guys in Nigeria. So they want you guys to be showing your stupidity online Why them looting you. <laughs> if you don't know, no. I will end this video. I will come in peace. Please help you to share this video. Share this video as you do so. God bless you. And if you know you want to win, 150 euro please subscribe to this youtube channel or the family phone tv if you want to win 150 euro subscribe here as you do so god bless you see you guys on my next video stay safe guys and bye bye